All right, welcome everyone. It's Maham again, coming to you with the deck build of everyone's favorite lightning rod, Kalia of the Vast. Now this, when I very first started getting into Commander, she was still on the shelves at Walmart and Target, and I did not buy her and I always regretted it. So I finally, and years and years later, I finally decided to build her. She's just a beautiful card. This is mostly angels. And it's kind of a deck to win, but really I just like to play some of the best art in Magic. Which is a huge reason I came in to this game in the first place. But here we go. Call you the Vast. Flying 2-2. Whenever... Call you the Vast attacks an opponent. You may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. I mostly have angels in here, but I do have one dragon and one demon. Let's go through this beautiful, beautiful deck list. Let's go through our lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four lands. Not a lot of lands, but I have a decent amount of ramp to make up for it. My only slow land in here, no bad outposts, but it's in the colors. You gotta have it. You gotta have the command tower. I like these. Shablon Ridge, Exotic Orchard, Godless Shrine, Dragon Skull Summit, Shinka, one of the first lands I ever bought. I bought it when I built my Ural deck. Slayer Stronghold, 2 0 Wind Vigilance is always nice. Sun Home, that double strike is a killer. Tainted Fields, Isolated Chapel, Battlefield Forge, Sacred Foundry, Smoldering Marsh. Now I drew all these lands that were extra, other than Command Tower, which I have a bunch of. So I did not actually pay for any of them, but I would for this deck. So here we go, let's get into the mana ramp. Rakdos Signet, gotta have it. Let's go through the Signets. Arcane Signet, gotta have it. Orzhov Signet, gotta have it. Boros Signet, gotta have it. All the colors we want. We got Command Sphere, Soul Ring. I mean, it's all your staples, everything you expect. I know a lot of people aren't playing Command Sphere, but that drawing cards, especially in here, is vital. Verge Rangers, one of the great white land wraps. As long as an opponent controls more lands than you, which they will, you may play a land from the top of your library. So one, it gets rid of land so you can get more angels. Also ramps you up a little bit and they get you a little 3-3 human, which you can sacrifice later. Archaeomancer's map, great, great card. Let you search for two planes. Then anytime, anytime somebody plays a land and it's more than you, you get to play a land out of your hand. Great card. Oh, there's another swamp. Miss one. Charcoal Diamond. Again, I gotta play the ramps, man. Let's actually put Fire Diamond and Marble Diamond with them. So I play all the diamonds. Just the two manas that I can soul ring into are big. If I can soul ring into a diamond, that means I'm most likely going to get her out on turn two, and that's huge. Uh, Smothering Tithe, I actually almost didn't put this in here. It's one of my favorite cards in all of Magic, because I like playing white so much. But I just net you so much, so many treasures. Uh, and sometimes it'll let you just play big, hasty angels when you shouldn't be able to. 
got Mind Stone, give or take. I, I like it because the card draw, which is what we're getting into next, is card draw. You need lots and lots of card draw with this deck because you're cheating out these giant angels for next to nothing. Greed, I'm actually going to switch this out with Phyrexian Arena whenever it comes in the mail later this week. But until then, pay a swamp, pay two life, draw a card. We got lifelink in here. We, we don't mind paying life for draw drawing cards. Here's another one. You draw three cards, you lose three life. I don't care about losing life. I'm coming in, swinging fast, and I'm going to get lifelink in eventually. Magus of the Wheel. Gotta love this card in red. Normally your hand's gonna be empty. So you get this guy out. Uh, next thing you know, you're tapping him and you're just drawing seven cards. Secret Rendezvous. I actually haven't been able to play this in a game yet. You and target opponent each draw three cards. Great. Uh, this is a hateful deck, so making some friends can be nice. Mangar the Diplomat, this is a give or take. I have netted a lot of cards because here's the thing. People want to kill you. You get all this stuff out. They want to swing in at you. You're drawing cards. This gets removed pretty quickly, uh, actually. But then also people in Commander, if you got a four-player table, most likely you're going to at least draw two cards from them just casting spells. Painful Truths. Three mana, you're usually going to be able to draw three cards off of this. It's a great spell. Esper Sentinel, new card. It is awesome. Been able to get it out. First time I was in my deck. I've only played it once with him in it. And I got blown up pretty quick, but I was still able to draw a couple cards for the one manas. Humble Defector. Make some friends, draw some cards. Jessica's Will, not the best in this deck, to be honest with you. Um, you're going to draw three cards, sort of. You're not going to be able to cheat him out with her ability, but with all the mana that you should be able to net, you might be able to get a big angel out early, and I've been able to do that. Uh, that's a game changer. Still good in here. And the last draw three, lose three life, Ancient Craving. I don't care about that life loss because we're winning the game early, boys and girls. Swiftfoot Boots, you want to get her out fast and you want to attach some boots to her. Get her Hexproof, get her Hasty. Let's go ahead and swap Lightning Greaves in here as well. Get her Hexproof or Shrouded. Get her Hasty. We don't care, we're not attaching nothing else to her. Get her some protection now. She's a beautiful girl. She needs protection to fairy's protection. She's a lightning rod. People want to kill her. They want to kill you. You just leave the game for a little bit. Come back and kill them later. Angelic Renewal. It's on theme. Also, a really easy way to get this out turn two. They try to kill her. You sack it. You bring her back to the battlefield. That's good. When you get her out, you want her hasty, boys. Fervor. Now, here's an all-star in the game. People are going to swing at you with lots of stuff. Trying to kill you. And Rakdos Charm. Each creature deals one damage to the controller. If not, you just exile all cards from players. Graveyard, a little graveyard, graveyard hate just in case. But that bottom ability destroys any token deck. And can outright win you. Well, not win your game, but kill you an opponent. Raise Fury, more for flavor, but uh, being able to tap down creatures so they can't block you is really nice. Even if you're just putting a one mana into it, so three mana. Target creature can't block Kalia, so she's swinging in. She's protected. It's a good card. Also, you're going to have tons of mana open because you're not having to spend it on your angels. Dire Tactics, Exile, Better Than Destroy. You're going to have all this indestructible stuff, doesn't matter. You're going to control Kalia, so you ain't going to lose life. And if you do, it doesn't matter, you're going to get it back anyway. Route, Murder the Board, that's fine. Because 
there's a decent chance your stuff is indestructible because all these amazing angels destroy all non-white creatures, don't even need indestructible. Most of your creatures have white in them. Boros Char, more for flavor. Double Strike can be a game ender. Indestructible is also nice. And then, you know, if you want to do 40 damage, you can. Especially if that's the only flyer they have. Now they, now they ain't got a blocker. Exile Target Permanent. Amazing. Better than Destroy. Destroy Target Creature or Planeswalker. I might take this out just because of the sorcery speed. But it's nice when someone's got that Planeswalker that uh, is just kind of terrorizing the board or a big threat. But then again, you got flyers. Flying's good. Usually able to put a lot of damage out there with your flyers. I'm not so sure about Dreadbore. Darksteel Mutation, Killer, to any commander out there because they don't go back because they're not exiled. They're just mutated. Mortify, much better. Destroy target creature or, or enchantment. Instant speed. Now we're getting to our angels. The most beautiful. Now this one isn't the most beautiful angel, but it's new. So I want to try it out. And plus you got some artifact and enchantment destruction. Good card. Seven mana, doesn't matter. Because we got ourselves cheaters in Kaya. Dogger Valerie, this is a, uh, Valkyrie, this is a really good card in this deck. You get her out, especially if she's hasted. Kaya goes down, you tap her, bring her back. There's tons of ways uh, that you can use her, especially um, with the one dragon we have in here that we're going to be discarding a lot and drawing new hands. Well, guess what? You can tap her and bring some of those back. You gotta have a chroma. It's not my favorite card, but man, look at that art. That is just gorgeous. This is the reason I got into Magic the Gathering. Then you can't be countered. Doesn't matter. You're not casting her. Flying Trample Protection from white and blue. Could matter. And you got all that extra mana. You might as well pump it into her to make her big. Give her some double strike. Maybe deal some double damage. It's good stuff. Regna the Redeemer. Of course, we're going to run her counterpart as well. Let me find him. There you go. Regna the Redeemer. Uh, big reason she's in here is so I can create these 1-1 one, one tokens and then sacrifice them and draw some cards because we need more card draw. We need to keep refilling our hand so that we can get more angels out so we can kill people. Speaking of getting more angels out, the other Kalia, not, not a great commander, but top six cards, you're, I don't whiff a lot. I think I whiffed once with this and it was like the fourth time I played her because with with your girl, sacrifice Kalia to Crav, you tap a Darkar, get her back in uh, the battlefield, and guess what? It's an ETB trigger. She's getting you more. It's good value right there. Safara, make your st other stuff indestructible. Plus, if you have her in hand and you got a bunch of flyers out with Vigilance, you can bring her out. Get you some of that lifelink as well. Seven lifelink. Could be 14, could be 28 with the other, other angels out. Angel of Despair. Destroy target permanent. Anything you want to destroy, you can destroy as long as it's not indestructible. Great card. Awful mana cost. Doesn't matter. You're bringing her out for free. Acroma, I'm going to actually switch this with the new Acroma. But, for now, Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, Protection from Black, Protection from Red. If Red Acroma's not getting through, this Acroma's getting through. 6-6. Six, six. Great card. Another great piece of art. Terial Reckoner of Souls. Look at that. Looks more of an Eastern art, but man, he's cool. Then you can also just start fetching creatures from other people's graveyards if you want. If not, 4-7 Flying Vigilance, not bad. Here's our dragon. You already saw our demon. 
Dragon Mage, when he deals combat damage to a player, each player discards their hand. Now, and then draw seven cards. Now you get him going. There's an infinite combo with him in here. Get him and Smothering Tithe. And this bad boy right here, Aggravated Assault. You got yourself infinite combat steps, people. Everyone's drawn seven cards. You're going to get the five mana to keep going as long as there's one person without a flyer. It's good stuff. And he's a dragon, so he gets comes out for free. Flame, Flame Blade Angel. This, um... Beautiful art. Look at that sword, man. But whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or permanent you control, you may have her deal one damage to that source's controller. This is big for token decks. Or just dealing some extra chump damage. Anyone's pinging you, she's pinging them right back. That's great. Another beautiful, and I have both the arts for Aurelia. Shows this one, I think, because it's foil, but it's also super pretty. Man, it's so beastly. But she is one of the best cards in this deck, getting you extra combat, which means, again, it doesn't trigger if Kalya brings her out the first time, but every time after that, when you're declaring attacks with her, and I usually try to cast her if I can, but when you're declaring attacks with her, you're triggering Kalya twice. Getting that extra combat steps, bringing extra... Angels out, this is why you want to keep drawing cards. Attacking twice, bring extra angels out. It's good stuff. Now, Platinum Angel, you can't lose the game. Your opponents can't win the game. If this is indestructible, it's going to be really tough to deal with. Indestructible for, for Flyer, it's good stuff. Man, look at that art, people. Lyra Dawnbringer. Flying First Strike Lifelink, your other angels have plus one, plus one, and Lifelink for five mana out of five, five. Are you kidding me? This card is amazing. You can cast it. You can have call you cast it, but man, it's beautiful. Jug Skirmisher, get you some Lifelink or some Vigilance or some First Strike if you must. This is another one you either have to have her out for that to trigger, though. And then, of course, one of the most beautiful cards in all of Magic. Ah, Avacyn, Angel of Hope, Flying Vigilance, 8-8. Eight, eight. All other permanents you control are indestructible. And she's indestructible. So you do this, you get yourself a board wipe, you're winning the game, people. Plus, she's an 8-8 with Flying and Vigilance. Too good. Aegis Angel. Get yourself some more Indestructible. Give it to Kalya so that she uh, can keep swinging in. And here's the, the flip side of the playmat. Bring that out of the way. The flip side of the playmat. Whenever you sack one of your humans. Or not angels, you can flip her. She becomes a 6-5 and she deals 3 damage to all creatures. And because she's made your stuff indestructible to end of turn, that just works. Man. So good. Then, of course, a 4-mana. Flying, 1st strike, lifelink, 4-3, Gisela, the Broken Blade. And, of course, you have to have which I, her counterpart... And here, Bruna the Fading Light, 5-7. And you can, whenever you cast her, again, you have to cast her, you can't bring her out with Kalya's ability. You can return target angel or human creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. doesn't matter when they got there, you can return them. And of course, gotta flip these ones. Because this is the whole reason you play this deck. Is to make big, beautiful things happen. You flip them and you turn them into Brasilia Voice and Nightmares. A 9 10 flying first strike vigilance lifelink. And your opponents can't cast spells with convert a mana cost three or less. 
one day I will get to play this combo. And then my favorite card in this deck, even though Avacyn's a little bit better, just out of the Blade of the Blade of Gold Knight. Dealing double damage, taking half damage. You're playing a Krinko player, they got a hundred one one goblins they swinging at you, they do zero damage. It's happened, and they were not happy. Another favorite of mine, Archangel of Thune. All that lifelink we're getting with the other ones, or just her. She's swinging in. She's gaining you three life and pumping up all your other creatures, giving them plus one, plus ones. Another five mana card, just ridiculous. Aggravated Assault, get some extra combat in there. Keep triggering Kalia. This is an amazing card. And again, you're not spending your mana because you don't need it. As long as you got her out, you don't need it. My only tutor in there, and I should probably put a better tutor in here, but I kind of like him. Uh, people may make fun of me, and that's fine. But search the library for a legendary card. You can pick out almost any angel that you want. Plus, you're getting a human, which I like to have to sacrifice later. And again, yes, it's five mana but you're not you don't need that mana this is this is what you can use that extra mana on instead of spending a bunch of money for the black tutors and everyone hates you for it that brings a little less hate and then get your stuff through with Arios, god of victory The biggest thing for me is to prevent all damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. You could call you out, turn one, bring him, or turn three, bring him out, turn four. She's swinging in with no worries. He's also indestructible, so it helps. But that is my Call You of the Vast video. Pretty standard deck, mostly angels. I just wanted a deck that was so pretty. So, if you want a pretty deck with some vicious angels and humans coming in, aggro, doing what these colors are supposed to do, then this is a great deck. Hope you like the deck tech. Enjoy.